Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're gonna talk about vascular calcification. Now, <laughs> this is the number one cause of death in chronic kidney disease. It's also the best predictor of heart attacks, way better than high cholesterol or anything with LDL. So calcification, what happens is the valves, the arteries, the aorta is becoming calcified, it's becoming stiff. There's no more elasticity. And that leads to, you know, heart, heart attacks. And the other thing that it'll do is it um, raises blood pressure. So that's kind of a precursor. And if you're getting blood pressure from calcification of the arteries, your blood pressure will stay high. It doesn't come down. Like some types of blood pressure come up and down. This one just stays high because the arteries are becoming calcified. Your, your arteries are basically becoming bone. So there's a key vitamin, vitamin K2, responsible for inhibiting calcification and making sure that the arteries stay arteries and the bone stays bone. So it drives calcium from the vascular into the bone itself. So it's good for osteoporosis, osteopenia, and um, it's, it's a kind of a calcification inhibitor. So vitamin K2 is always deficient in uh, dialysis patients, you know, end-stage renal failure, uh, vascular calcification, they're always going to be low in vitamin K2. It's a relatively new thing for people. People haven't heard about it, but it's probably going to be very popular in about two or three or five years from now because it's amazing, actually. It, it's, uh, it basically can reverse hardening of the arteries. Um, so you want to do your own research on that. Now, the other thing that works with vitamin K2 is D3. Vitamin D3 is also always deficient in chronic kidney disease as well as vascular calcification. And probably the reasons why it's low in kidney is because D3, the active form of D3, has to be converted through the kidney. And so if that doesn't happen, you're not going to absorb it, so therefore you're going to have a lot of calcium issues. Okay? Uh, where do you get K2? Well, you can get it from sauerkraut, you can get it from other fermented vegetables. There's also a fermented soy uh, in Japan called nato. Uh, you can get that even as a supplement. It's also in all the grass-fed dairy, uh, butter, cheese. Um, it's in grass-fed meat. It's in grass, uh, like pasture-raised eggs, egg yolk. So it's in actually the fatty foods, the very foods that doctors have been telling people to avoid because of heart problems which is interesting, but vitamin K2 is an amazing uh, decalcification vitamin. And uh, if you're on warfarin or kum kumatin, which is basically a blood thinner, unfortunately that blocks this whole process. So you're gonna be deficient in K2. So here you are preventing a clot, but then you end up getting calcification. So it's really a situation. So hopefully the doctor can give you other options, but that is a situation. So I just wanted to uh, summarize. If you go to the doctor and you're checking your cholesterol levels, always have them check for calcification in your arteries, in the carotids, and uh, see if it's uh, a situation. And if it is, start loading up with K2. I'll put some links down below to get some more data. Thanks. What's the next part? What am I going to say? Take five. Do it. And where am I going with this? Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, press the subscribe button below and I will keep you updated on the future events. Thank you so much.